Alright everybody, it's Christina here and welcome back to my channel. And this is the part two. Let me grab a drink. So I think we just film with the light off because it looks was less weird, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, also I don't want to like have my car on. Because I need to go put, uh, I just went and put some gas in. I don't really want to run it. What is wrong with people? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, I was talking about working on overnights, and um, when I originally started this job, it was not. I don't know what these people are doing, and I'm not sure I should witness what these people are doing. Yeah, I'm never mind. I'm not even gonna look. Anyway, um, I know that I am tired and uh, working overnight. When I first okay, so when I first started this job, I was hired originally for evenings, and then they had two people quit days when I left or when I got here. So they had me working a weird schedule, and then I got switched to, um, or then I got asked to go to days, so I did. And then my babysitter quit, and then I had to switch to, to nights, overnights. No, I switched to overnights. I still had a babysitter at that point, but because they made a little bit extra money, because we make eleven forty eight an hour. We're poor. And also, these hot Cheetos are gross. They are, um, very stale. Anyway. I've been on the shift for seven months. And when I first started, it was great. I made friends, you know. We were all good with each other. We all talked to each other. And then, I guess you could say my best friend of the shift left. And then, uh... Things have just gone downhill. And we hired a new girl right before she left. And it was funny because this girl wasn't originally the girl who was supposed to get the job. Um, they had they had agreed on someone else, but then at the last minute, they uh, changed. So, um, I don't know why, but they did. It was kind of sad because I, I kind of liked the other girl a little bit better. But it's like overnight had no... We had no say, really, in who gets hired, apparently, because, I don't know. But anyway, I think we should, because we have to work with them. Anyway, she got hired, and she's she likes to take, like, I like getting up and doing things, because I get bored. And it gets, when I get bored, I get tired. And also, I'm the one who is the furthest. Everyone else... Was like five minutes one of them she bikes to work because she lives right across the street basically I on the other hand do not I live at least 35 minutes away 40 45 for traffic sometimes and I'm just so sometimes like I do leave a little well I do leave early sometimes, but I'm only allowed to leave 10 minutes early. But here's my problem. Some days I get here at 9.15 and I immediately just, I go in and they're slammed. So I step in and help. And then other times I need to get some shelving done because there's no books in the back. So I should be able to leave that amount of time early, but I don't get to. And then we just had, like, a meeting between all of us. Well, between... It was, like, one-on-ones. Which I freaking hate one-on-one -on -one meetings. I just hate meetings in general, I guess. And, uh... It's like, do you have any complaints? No. Um, here's some things I noticed that you do we need to fix. Okay. I guess I'll work on it. But here's my problem. 
I am, I know I have a big attitude. I know I do. And I know that lately it has been 10 times worse because I'm tired. But we had this like professional development we have to do next week. And I'm not looking forward to it. I am going to sit with my two best friends. Like, I have two best friends here. They're both on evenings. And, like, I get along with everybody on evenings. But, like, these two are, like, my... They're my buddies. <coughs> and so I invited them out to lunch next week. I'm like, let's go get some lunch. I really think I'm just going to go to the student union if it's open. Who knows, though, at this point. It might not be. I really don't know why I'm eating these. I have some other chips, so I think I'm going to just eat those instead. But anyway, I'm just, I'm so tired that I know my attitude is intolerance is getting, like, fed up. One of my friends, um, we were joking around because, uh, my husband is in the military, of course, and we were talking about basic, <laughs> and we're like, yeah, you know, they break you down. And then they build you back up. And he looks at me and he goes, you know, you don't take being broken very well. I'm like, what? I do too. He goes, mm-hmm. Is that why you had your, your two weeks notice drawn up? Because you didn't like what they were saying earlier? I'm like, listen, I don't have to work. Okay. I don't have to put up with this bull crap. I just made a deal with myself, and I don't like re reneging on my deals. <clears throat> I really hate this place sometimes. But I don't want to lose my friendships with my best friends here. I think they're great people. Me and, me and the guy, we literally <laughs> we were talking about sugar mamas and sugar daddies today. So, um, apparently our professional development's not even in our building. They're making us walk. And here's the thing, we have to be there until 4. And I'm like, well, I gotta leave by 4, which means I gotta be here by 7.30. I'm just, I don't, I don't like this place. I don't suggest working for this place. It's got a lot of issues. And I know that I have a big mouth, and it doesn't really help, but and yes, I am eating because I'm bored, and I'm eating because I'm stressed, and I'm eating because I'm not even hungry, but I'm eating because of everything. Which ends as soon as I get off my break. Because I probably won't eat lunch, honestly, because I've been forgetting to eat lunch. And this is my, guys, this is my ramblings at almost 2 a.m. I don't know what I'm doing with my life anymore. I just really don't. I can say honestly that since I've started taking care of my kids during the day, I felt like everything about me has changed. Like when I go to work, I'm this like fun, happy-go-lucky person. I force myself to be, but like, it takes a toll on me. <clears throat> and I know, and I know before you say, 
we we are trying with the child care we are working on it but there is literally nothing we can do right now but we are working on it I'm waiting for campus police to come by again Interesting. These people are literally like dancing by the the fountain. I'm over it. I am over this place. I did um in my two weeks notice I put that I will stay until a another person is hired and then I will leave so that way I don't leave them too high and dry. There's literally two people running. But one's in a skirt and the other's in jeans. They're running around the fountain. And it's not like they're chasing each other, they're just running. I don't know what's going on. surprising amount of people who are at that fountain right now. I don't understand. Alright, anyway. I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Bye.